hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the horror movie The Nun. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. The story is set in Romania in the year 1952. It opens with two nuns living at the St. Carthas Monastery that are being attacked by an unseen evil force after entering a tunnel to retrieve an ancient Christian relic. One of the nuns, Sister Victoria, manages to escape and flees from the attacker that is revealed to be a demon appearing as a nun. Before the demon can take over Sister Victoria's body, she decides to sacrifice herself and hangs herself to death from the balcony. In the morning, the nun's body is discovered by Frenchy, a villager that transports supplies to the monastery. The news of the incidents makes its way to the Vatican and they summon Father Burke to Rome. They ask him to travel with Sister Irene, a nun in her novitiate, to travel to Romania and investigate the situation. While in the middle of teaching the children, the unknowing Sister Irene is informed by her mother superior that she is ordered by the Vatican to accompany Father Burke on his trip to Romania. The pair travel to Romania and they meet with Frenchy, the villager who discovered the body of Sister Victoria. In his carriage, he takes them to the monastery and leads them to the abbey where he saw the body. They inspect the body of Sister Victoria and find a key from her corpse. To further their investigation, Sister Irene and Father Burke proceed to go inside, encountering the abbess who informs them that the nuns observe a period of silence during the night and offers them lodging at the attached convent if they wish to return tomorrow. On the other hand, Frenchy makes his way back to the village when he is attacked by the demon, luckily he escapes unharmed. Back in the monastery, Father Burke and Sister Irene begin to share their experiences in the past. He tells her that he exorcised a boy in the past, Daniel, who ended up fatally injured during the ritual and succumbed to death later on. The priest shares that up until that point, he carries the burden of the boy's death with him. Sister Irene shares that as a girl, she had visions and each of them concluded with Mary points the way, which caused the church to take an interest in her. Later that night, the demon strikes again, and at the receiving end is Father Burke who was buried alive in the graveyard by the entity. Fortunately, Sister Irene is able to rescue him. Even after what had happened, the pair remained at the monastery, even more driven to investigate. The next day, they return to the abbey, however, only Sister Irene is allowed to enter as it is cloistered. Sister Irene meets some of the other nuns and learns that they are praying constantly, even swapping in shifts when others need to take a break. They do this so that they may keep the evil entity at bay. Sister Ona was the one to reveal to Sister Irene the history of the abbey. The abbey was actually built in the Middle Ages as a castle used by the Duke of St. Carta, a powerful aristocrat obsessed with the occult. It was right at that very castle where the diabolic duke summoned the demon through a rift in the catacombs. However, before he can accomplish his plan, the Christian knights come to stop him. The knights were able to kill him and most importantly seal the rift with a vial filled with the blood of Christ. The rift remained safely sealed throughout history, but the bombings during the Second World War accidentally reopened the rift, unleashing the evil entity once more. Burke identifies the demon as Valak and discovers the abbess has been dead all along. Frenchy, who has just narrowly escaped the threats of the demon, heads back to the abbey to help Father Burke and Sister Irene. Sister Irene, on the other hand, is attacked by Valak and joins the rest of the nuns in desperate prayer to ward off the demon. The group is finally reunited when Sister Irene discovers that none of the nuns she had joined in prayer were real. All this time, she was praying all by herself, realizing that the last nun in the abbey was Sister Victoria, who had sacrificed herself to stop Valak from possessing her body and unleashing evil. Believing that the only way to stop Valak is to seal the rift with the blood of Christ contained in the reliquary, the trio set off to retrieve the vial with the key that they found in Sister Victoria's possession. Sister Irene then informs Father Burke that God has called her to make her solemn vows as a nun and asks Burke to elevate her to the status of a professed nun, which he does in the Abbey's chapel. Without wasting any more time, the trio goes to unlock the tunnel door, but Sister Irene is lured into the pentagram and possessed by Valak. Frenchy attempts to release the nun from the demon's possession by smearing some blood of Christ on her face. The demon is successfully casted out of Sister Irene's body. Meanwhile, Father Burke is wounded by Daniel's ghost as Valak starts to drown Sister Irene in a flooded chamber. With all her might, Sister Irene emerges from the flood and expels the blood of Christ from her mouth to the demon's face, banishing it as the blood of Christ seals the rift. 
Having ingested too much water, Irene lays unconscious as Frenchie tries to resuscitate her. After she awakens, Sister Irene asks for Frenchie's real name to which he answers Maurice. The story ends with a severely wounded and very much exhausted trio leaving the abbey, having successfully sealed the rift, concluding their investigation. Unbeknownst to the others, Maurice has been possessed by Valak, as evidenced by an inverted crucifix on his neck. Fast forward to 20 years later in the 1970s, Carolyn Perrin watches as Ed and Lorraine war in present footage of their attempt to exercise a possessed Maurice in a university seminar in Wakefield, Massachusetts, a very familiar lecture scene of the three stages of possession from the beginning of very first of the first movie that launched the installment, The Conjuring. 